Hello, my lovelies. Elsie here to do your sneak peek for this week. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you so, so much every time you do. So this is where we're at, y'all. We're into the flannels. <laughs> It's getting to be a little bit chilly in Canada, and I welcome it all. I'm the person you hate. I am the pumpkin spice girl. <laughs> bring it. Bring it. It's supposed to go down to 2 degrees Celsius today, which in Fahrenheit is 35 degrees, and I am all about it. The windows are open. I'm under a blanket. I have thick socks on, and I pulled out the flannels. So here we are. Here we are, here we are. Just want to chat you up just a little bit before we get going here, but let's get to it. Uh, thank you so much again for all that you do, for all the ways that you love this channel, for all the ways that you love on me, for sharing your most personal thoughts in the comments, and for your thumbs up. Y'all, you're building this place. Thank you so much because it is a place of happiness. It is Ten of Cups after all, correct? So we, what we're looking for is understanding of ourselves and um, the apex of happiness. So thank you so much if you're the person who's contributing contributing positively to this platform because that's what it's all about all right elsie stop with the blah blah let's get going so what is this reading about elsie well it is uh, a reading that i do every week uh, on a monday or tuesday to give you the current week energy so uh, this will be for this week any readings that i do for the individual signs is always for the week ahead and um I'm going to do this uh, for this week for you here. It goes from Aries to Pisces. I, I do uh, read a little bit for every sign here and uh, look in the description. You will see uh, that I have marked everything in the description in order for you to be able to just scroll this video and find what you need. But please, 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 please stop watching tarot just for your sun sign. I know you get tired of hearing me say it, but I will never stop. Nope. Because what makes you the sun sign that you are because there's a lot of people walking around with your sun sign what's the difference your moon and your rising yep all right here we go it's important to come here armed with at least the bare, bare minimum which is all three natal charts are free everywhere all right aries enough 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 talk here we go aries let's let's uh, follow you into this reading here as we always do thank you so much for your energy my fire family i am a sagittarius rising i get you aries i have lots of aries of people around me all right here we go aries this is your sneak peek for this week sun moon rising venus and jupiter if you are interested in a private read please look below in the description you'll see what you need uh, there in order to find me over at wisio all right what is going down here? We start with the magician in the reverse. Ooh. You know what, Aries? I think someone is trying to manipulate you with their words. Somebody who keeps you in a loop, Aries. I'm feeling a little suspicious about this energy. The Five of Swords is about someone who keeps you in the loop because they think that they're going to pull your ideas over to what they're thinking. So this person in the Five of Swords is just going to keep it going on a loop. This is someone that will never tell you that you're right. They probably won't ever say sorry to you. This is someone who... <coughs> excuse me. This is someone who is trying to manipulate you through their words. Now, we're looking at swords here. You could be dealing with an air sign or an Aries, but you don't have to be. Um, but it feels like uh, somebody who is incredibly smart knows how to manipulate you with their words. Sorry to deliver the bad news, my friend. You may be in a situation where you're being manipulated here. And that means, you know, ma manipulation comes in many ways, but I think that somebody here is trying to get you to do things that they want you to do that you wouldn't necessarily do otherwise, but I think they're really good with their manipulation. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Interesting. So what I want to say is this is a warning to you to slow down, to stop. This is Virgo. We're in Virgo season, and that's what this energy is about. Virgo forces us to look into our pentacle world, people, places, places that we spend our time, people we spend our time with, our money, where do we live, what do we drive. You know, they it's all pentacle stuff, the stuff that's in the 3D. I think the universe here, Aries, is um, asking you to slow down. Perhaps even stop and take stock of what's going on around you. You really need to see the situation for what it is. Because manipulation can be stopped in its tracks, but it is up to you to uh, to kind of gauge it, right? You need to figure it out first before you can stop it. All right. It almost feels like this manipulation tactic or whatever the manipulative words are has pulled you off track. It's like you were on track, you were going slow, 
crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. You knew where you were. You knew what was around you. And then all of a sudden someone shows up who's manipulating you. We've got three pentacles. So it is a partnership that you're in. So whether the, the, the three of stars, pentacles are stars in this deck. So um, the, the three of stars is telling me or the three of pentacles is telling me that the person that's manipulating you is someone that you know really well. It is someone that is in your pentacle world in a partnership. So you either work with this person, you volunteer with this person, you're on their team, they're on your team. This could be someone that you're dating currently. And it might be someone that the, the dating is fairly recent. So possibly three to five months. Um, okay. I want to say that this person is very careful with how they delivered the information. You know what? There's some, some information coming to you around the full moon. I feel like this partnership, there is going to be um, a new cycle for some of you in this partnership. And this new cycle could be someone goes from a friend to being uh, you you being in a relationship with them. But I want to say if they, if they do that, they're going to talk you into it. The new moon is also about a new... Um, a new chapter, um, a new cycle is beginning, right? In the new moon, everything that we got rid of sort of over the last little bit and through the full moon, um, realizations we had, uh, the new moon now starts starts with uh, new energies, new ideas, new situations. So I feel like this three of pentacles, if this person is a friend, it's someone you have feelings for, and that probably in and around the new moon, there is some sort of a new venture or... Um, it's like this person needs you on their team in order to be able to get whatever it is that they want by the new moon. Uh, the new moon, I believe, is on the 14th of September, depending on uh, where you are in the world. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the comments, it'd be great. Okay. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. It is somebody who has a really a really tight hold on you, Aries. So this person has a tight hold on you. You trust them. They are in your pentacle world. They are someone who is using their words to manipulate you. And you may not be the person who sees the manipulation just yet. You may be the person who, to, to you, everyone is innocent until proven guilty, which is a, probably a good way to go at it. But what I want to say is there's going to be some sort of a breakthrough or some sort of knowledge that's unlocked here. I'm looking at the the lock on the hand here, um, which is an, an indication that it's all in your hands. This person who's manipulating you with their words keeps a tight rein on you. They're holding on tight to this situation because they're really, really wanting this friendship to go to a romantic place. Tell me what's going to be changing up around the full moon here. I feel like around the, f or sorry, the new moon, around the new moon, I feel like uh, the Knight of Pentacles being in the reverse tells me that things sort of stop, that maybe you stop to take stock of what's going on. Tell me about the new moon energy for Aries. Sneak peek for this week for Aries, please. The Wanderer. This person is taking advantage of the fact that you, that maybe you don't, um, that you're not necessarily connected to your intuition at this time, or they assume it. Maybe you are connected and they assume that you are not. What is going to happen, I feel, around the new moon is you're going to go within. The wanderer is someone who is looking for their connection to the universe. Something has to mean more here, the wanderer says. It has to mean more than this. And then they start to connect to the earth. And as they connect to the earth, they also connect to the universe. So this person is looking for, um, I, I kind of, it feels to me a little bit like a, a hermit. Like this person is not necessarily not speaking to people and stuff, but they spend a lot of time alone under the moon, laying in the grass outside, whatever it is. They're trying to find or figure out what it is that they want for themselves. I feel like this new moon that's coming here is going to put you in a place of inward focus. You're going to be focusing on you, taking stock, stopping things in their tracks to uh, go over the details, thanks to Virgo energy, right? We've got the Two of Cups, we've got the Star, and we've got the Ace of Cups. Interesting energy. So the, the Two of Cups does talk about, of course, love or a deep, connected sort of emotional connection. And the star is here um, for hope, hope and healing. Um, 
it feels like you have a star in your midst or someone you're very focused on because they shine really brightly. It could be an Aquarius, uh, but we have the uh, Ace of Cups that's in the reverse. Look, I think deep in your gut, it's like you hope that this is love. And so I want to say that the Ace of Cups coming out in the reverse says, I'm not jumping the gun. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to figure it out. And I think that's the, that's the blessing of the Virgo energy for you this month is things are going to slow down for you for whatever reason. And you're going to be taking a really close look at what's going on around you. Is this really where I want to invest my only cup? And so I feel like you're looking at a love situation and you're seeing the benefits of it. I think that the person you're with is highly intelligent. You're probably attracted to their mind. And they are also someone who uh, gives like a healing vibe. I want to say that um, you feel like you feel very healed when you're with this person or hopeful. One of the two. Five of Wands. So I see you, my friend, as uh, probably coming up in the next week or so, you are going to start slowing it down. Um, because I feel your fire and you're used to making impulsive decisions and maybe in the past impulsive decisions didn't necessarily pay off for you. So I feel like this Virgo energy is a blessing for you this week because it's going to make you slow down. Do I want to be single? I'm, I'm far more confident and together and have all my necessities covered. Do I want to be single? Or do I want to be with the Queen of Cups? Do I want a love relationship? I think, and a commitment too. I feel like this is the moment of truth for you. It feels like Aries that you're deciding whether or not you want to be with someone. Look, I just feel like the person that you're with could be quite manipulative. If this is a new relationship, I'm not talking about, and I mean, it could happen in relationships that aren't new, but I want to say that maybe it's not on your radar, Aries, because this is a new situation and you're not sure. You don't know. And if this person is an Aquarius, they could easily manipulate you mentally. Absolutely. Aquarius is the genius of the Zodiac. They don't only see things for what they are and are clear and honest, but they get to the bottom of things. And I'm not saying Aquarius is, is manipulative. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that someone has the ability to manipulate you, manipulate your thoughts by using manipulative words. All right. Enough of that. Here we go, Taurus. <laughs> I just couldn't stop talking about Aries. I had to get all of that out. I channel most of my readings, by the way. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Let's talk about you, Taurus. You are my bull gang. I am a Taurus son. Thank you so much for clicking here. If you're interested in a private read, please look below in the description. You know what to do. There's a link there to Wizio. All right, tell me about Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It is for this week, please. The sneak peek for this week for the bull gang, please. Sneak peek for this week. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Taurus, we got the fool. This is going to be the week that something new is going to happen. A new door is going to open. There's an opportunity coming. Ooh, that's bringing a tower, my friend. Look at that. It's bringing upheaval and change. Something is changing here. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? We've got the Page of Swords. It's an incoming. I want to put my hand up to my mouth and say incoming. <laughs> Taurus, there's an incoming message, I think. Uh, somebody wants to speak with you. It's the person who's been watching you. We've got uh, the fool indicating that you may be asked to take a leap of faith or you may decide to take a leap of faith. Uh, the tower is here and it feels like with these two that it looks like she's she's kind of looking over her shoulder like, should I, Taurus? Should I leap into the tower? What should I do? Should I just stay here? Should I leap into the tower? What should I do? But the thing is this, I think that the tower energy that's here, ooh, look at that bottom of the deck. The tower energy that's here, um, we've got uh, Scorpio energy, Aries energy, and uh, this is Aquarius. Aquarius is the one that gets to the bottom of everything. So not a, it's not enough that I know what it is. I need to know exactly what it is by digging super deep. So somebody here has been watching you um, somebody here has been trying to sort of anticipate you and that might be through social media or it could be somebody who maybe you're a barista and they walk into Starbucks every day, not sponsored. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if this is someone that you already know because they, they know how to access you even when you don't know they've accessed you. We've got the two of cups here. It's very interesting. And the high priestess, you already know, Taurus. You already know who I'm talking about. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries, maybe an Aquarius. Tell me more. 
Taurus, what's going on here for this week? Taurus, sneak peek for this week, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, Taurus, these, Taurus, these cards are talking today. Sometimes I got to pull them out of the deck. It takes too long. You know, not today. So we're not going to uh, uh, ignore that the Two of Swords has come out on its side. Whenever a card flies out on its side, for me, it is um, a challenge. So we have... Um, the two of swords. Ah, the challenge is three swords, right? Two and the one in the hand of the page. There we go. It's going to be a challenge, Taurus, because this person has already disappointed you. They've already done something that's either broken your heart or disappointed you or put you up in your head trying to find reasons. I need to dig. I need to fix. It's like they've got you um, digging into yourself because you think it's you. I don't think it's you. Nope. I think... I think that there's somebody here who um, who I feel has been quiet with you or standing their ground because they haven't yet made a decision about you. And I think that the decision this person's trying to make is whether or not they are going to jump off the edge or whether or not they should even bother talking to you because maybe you won't jump, jump off the edge with them. I feel like uh, you're going to get communication, right, in the future, with the Page of Swords, and I feel like it's going to cause this tower energy. It is somebody who's going to ask you to begin a new chapter with them, and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be love. I mean, it totally can be. But listen, it could be somebody who has a business proposal for you, somebody who says, remember that thing that mom used to make, the, the special way that she used to do that thing for us as a kid that thing is monetized it can be monetized it, it could be an opportunity like that as well it is an opportunity to open conversation and to speak about things that somebody's been seeing as they're watching so I think someone is trying to make a decision about whether they want to jump off the edge but I feel like they're coming in like a wrecking ball here with the tower and I feel like this person wants to know if you're interested in the new beginning as well. There's justice. They're coming in for justice, man. They're coming in because they don't think that they can lose. Um, this person is someone who is very, uh, very much, um, they're someone who always gets their way or when they put their mind on something, that thing becomes theirs. The justice is here with the seven of wands. So somebody's standing their ground on, I'm going to get my justice. It's just that I feel like your person here needs to make a really big decision. First of all, I think that the, the page of swords is really important. But I think that the reason someone's reluctant to come forward is because of the three swords. Right? And uh, the seven of wands. So this person is has decided that I feel like the universe is, is, is coming in with a change for you. And it is a necessary change. I believe this upheaval is, is meant for you to see the other side of the tower so you can make a clear decision as to whether the fool is a good idea for you or not. Somebody here is standing their ground, though, and they're, they're not taking no for an answer. We've got uh, the Ten of Wands. Somebody wants to come in and drop their burdens with you because of the silence. It's been very quiet. You've been on the outside looking in here. We've got the Five of Pentacles. You, This is someone you're not speaking with, but possibly you can see online or they're watching you online. I feel like somebody has collected a pile of burdens in this Two of Swords energy because you will get stuck there. <laughs> you will. It is a block. Yeah, when you can't make a decision and you don't want to see the situation for what it is, she's looking away. She's looking away from the situation. There's sun in the future. Um, there is emotion in the future as well, but she's looking away. She doesn't want to see it for what it is. She doesn't want to see the beauty of it. I say she because there's a woman pictured on the card, but please understand we're not reading body parts, right? All right, so I think somebody's coming in to drop their burdens with you, Taurus. It's been silent and they don't like it. The Five of Wands is here. They're in indecision and they're dragging their heels this week. And um, they are going to make a decision, though. The Eight of Pentacles is here. So it is somebody who's willing to put in the hard work. They'll put in whatever hard work they have to put in in order to be able to get cut through the competition that they think that there is for you. So they feel like there's already competition, uh, five of wands, and the eight of pentacles says, I'm going to work as hard as I need to in order to make Taurus notice me. We have uh, the three of pentacles. Taurus, this is someone that you already know. Someone that has disappointed you, and I don't know if it's been in love or otherwise, but this person does have, uh, does want to come forward and get some justice with you here. Tell me about the tower. 
somebody's coming in because they want some stability with you. Um, I feel like the chariot is here. They're coming in quickly, but the seven of swords is here too, which is a little bit concerning. So the seven of swords is with the queen of pentacles. It feels like there's something that you don't know that could possibly change your pentacle world about this person. So when they come in, it's it's upheaval, but I feel as though you're the one that's the earth sign, so you get your tread very quick, you get very stable. But what I wanna say is this person's not leaving you alone. So if you've had someone that keeps coming back to you, asking you if you will be in a relationship, asking you if this person is on their way back, it feels like what's being concealed from you is the chariot. This person's coming at you full bore. I don't think they're done with you, is what I wanna say. We have uh, the death card card here and we have the king of wands it tells me the king of wands has changed i'm just gonna say i know i'm gonna get crap for it in the in the comments but look it says there's been a transformation within the king of wands who is leo but also aries and sagittarius in this reading this person's coming in with love feelings they're going to show you that they're emotionally available for you now it's not just the passion that they want there's been a transformation of someone's energy here because they have realized that you my dear are the empress they see your value and your worth we also have the sun they really do see your value and your worth they get it they get that you're the soulmate they understand what's going on here and um i feel like somebody is is coming in to talk with you yep they are Woo now i'm excited to see what's going to come up for the week ahead taurus <laughs> all right all right all right here we go we're looking at gemini Thank you, Gemini, for clicking here. If you're a cross-watcher, thank you so much. I appreciate you. This is your sneak peek for the week, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you are interested in a private read, please look at the description. There is a link there to Wizio, which has all of my pricing. All right. Here we go. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Gemini for this week, please. Gemini for this week, the Gemini Collective, please. We have something to do with the Knight of Cups. It looks like there is some sort of romantic connection here. Mm, what's this? So one that's been taking a long time, Gemini. <clears throat> it's been a long time coming here. We've got the Knight of, of uh, Pentacles, slowest moving knight. And we have the Emperor. Ooh, Chariot. Okay. Now, I think that the last reading that I did for you, if I can remember, I think you did come up as the emperor. So somebody here, I think, is a little bit bossed up. Um, it feels like you've been working toward that for a while. And um, the, the chariot, cancer energy, Aquarius energy, and then we have water and earth, right? I want to say that it's been a long while since you have been in a relationship where you could take the lead on romance. I want to say that maybe you're a person in the past who's been in relationships where the partner was the dominant energy. And really, please understand that we're talking about masculine, feminine energy. The emperor is masculine leaning, but that doesn't mean it's a man. It means that they're masculine leaning. And this person also has feminine energy, however little or however much. So I want to say that you have... You've come to a place where you're ready to take charge of some sort of romantic situation and it's been a long time coming because I feel like I feel like you're a new emperor or someone who's realized that they're in charge and I don't think that you've been the emperor in a romantic situation before Gemini is what I want to say. Yeah, the chariot's here. It feels like that whatever was taking its time is now it's now about to Hit the bricks and make some make break some trail. <laughs> yeah. And so it feels like with the um Oh, she has three pentacles in her basket. She's looking for the partnership. I say she's feminine looking person on the on the um on the card here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's got three in the basket. Somebody's looking for a partnership here. Yep. I feel we should take them, so we will. And um, let's keep going here. There it is. King of Cups. Hmm. It's been a long time, I feel, Gemini, since you've really been deeply in love. 
I think you're ready because I think you're grown. I think that you've done some growing since the last relationship that you were in. So I feel like you're now ready. You feel like your energies are balanced. The chariot is here. You're ready to hit the road. You feel like you can make it happen, that you can find this, either that you can fall deeply in love with the relationship you're already in, or that that you are looking for a love relationship, something that can start solid in pentacles, like the three of pentacles, and grow into the king of cups, which is really deep and um, very connected uh, energetically, spiritually, like I feel like you're looking for the whole thing. You're not just looking for someone you're attracted to, but it's got to be someone who is who's going to allow you to take the lead on being wildly romantic, or maybe you're going to let the other person take the lead, take it as it resonates. But I feel like it's been a long time since you've been deeply in love because the seven of um, the Seven of Pentacles is here. I think you've been nurturing the self or growing, um, thinking about your seeds of intention and where you want to throw them. We have uh, the Knight of Swords. And so you have something to say. You want someone to see your side. And so whether that be a new person or the person you're currently with, I feel like it's um, you want to someone to see your deeply... Um, uh, deeply caring, loving, romantic, wildly romantic kind of side. I think that's what you're thinking about this week. So whether you're headed off to a new relationship or this is someone that you already know, uh, we have the Nine Cups. It feels like you you are pretty confident with this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is the one who is the protector and the, the brave one, right? It feels like you're, you're bravely looking forward to this Nine uh, Cups here, Gemini this week and i think you're going to take charge on that tell me what's coming up please oh you might reach out to somebody this week you might make that call reach out to someone things are going to start to uh, speed up here in terms of your wish fulfillment wow <laughs> really going to speed up Wow, wow. So the Wheel of Fortune is here. I feel like you're headed into next week with a whole lot of changes on your plate, my friend. Once you signal the universe that you're ready, that you're the emperor, that you're in all the balanced energies of the kings, and you're willing to take... Um, you're willing to take charge uh, of your life. And I mean, that's good and bad, right? Because you make decisions that sometimes don't work and you make decisions that sometimes work. I feel that because you've let the universe know that you are the emperor now, I feel like things start to move really quickly forward in a fortunate way. That being said, I just want to don't oversell it because the Wheel of Fortune can be a little chaotic. It means that changes now are beginning to take place very quickly in order to bring you whatever you have manifested. So I'm just going to give you a what if. <laughs> so maybe you're in a relationship and maybe you're happy there, but maybe you're not 100% happy there. And maybe you've been thinking about someone else, someone else, someone else on a loop. If you've been manifesting them, whether you think you are or not, because they're the ones that's on your mind and not the person that you're with, this is what's coming. Changes. The universe is now going to start putting all the puzzle pieces together so you can take charge of whatever it is that you want to do or what you've been manifesting. So the universe is preparing you to be out front, to be in charge, because something you've asked for is on the way. But it is not going to, it doesn't always look happy on the surface at the beginning, which could mean if you're supposed to be with somebody else, that maybe this relationship you're in just isn't going to work because it's not supposed to. I'm not saying that's where you are at right now. I'm just making an example. So we have the, um, uh, the Two of Swords. So it feels like there is some sort of a a decision that you've got to make, <laughs> um, an important decision, I feel, that you've got to make here um, about what's in your gut. What do you really want? And you know what? That's the beautiful blessing of the Virgo energy. I'll sing it to the I'll sing it to the to the heavens, because I'm telling you that that this energy here, it, it feels like you're really going over what what's in your gut. What do you really want? What do you really want out of the situation? And you're staying quiet about a decision you're about to make. It does feel that way. You're staying quiet about a decision you're about to make. I feel that telling the universe that you are now the emperor is bringing a lot of changes and it's going to cause you to make some decisions about where you're going with your abundance or your long-term uh, romantic connections. Um, we have the sun. <clears throat> it's the best time for you to be making these decisions right now. 
the best time, right? The sun is here. It's allowing you to see for miles and miles. You're in a growth spurt, my friend. So you're professionally, uh, personally, in your career, this is a growth spurt for you. And I feel like it's the perfect time for you to start making decisions about the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. And uh, whatever you tell the universe is what they're going to throw back at you. And it might not be pretty. I'm just saying. All right. Here we go, Cancer. This is you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. How are you, Cancer? Thank you for clicking here. Thank you for cross-watching. And if you're interested in a private read, please look in the description. Thank you for all your support on my last video. I appreciate you. All right. It's coming up for Cancer. All right. So we've got the Four of um, Swords in the reverse. Cancer, you've been... You've been healing and possibly really not really reaching out to people or connecting with other people. Sort of being withdrawn a little bit because you're withdrawn into the self, into thoughts. But understand that Jupiter is in retrograde right now. And that's exactly what the Jupiter energy is about in Virgo season. Really looking inward about where do I want to be? What's my abundance? What am I doing with me? And then Virgo forces us to sort of look at the details. So I think that we're going to see a lot of the four swords. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I feel like it being in the reverse is good because I feel like you're ready to reconnect to people after being uh, possibly being in healing a, a spot of healing for a little bit here all right we have the king of wands who is aries sagittarius leo someone who takes inspired action regardless of what's going on around them they're just going to focus on the fire and go for it uh, because they're forged through fire they're used to coming through hard times we have the ace of swords interesting so I want to say that there is some sort of communication or, or something uh, that is going to open up in terms of communication between you and someone else. Um, I feel like uh, it could be someone who you are highly attracted to, someone who uh, is very confident. Um, it could be someone who has fire in the chart, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This person you see as them taking inspired action. I think you want to reconnect to this person. And uh, like I said, I think that, that you're just so incredibly attracted to this person as well. Uh, you see them as a real go-getter, someone who always gets what they want, no matter what it is. This king is about the conquer, right? They go, what's after, they go after what makes them feel passionate. They have to have passion in all things or it's not worth it. So I feel like you are going to reach out to this person, possibly open a new... Um, a new conversation with somebody here. We have the strength card. And we have the page of pentacles. I feel like you feel you have to be courageous in order to deal with this person. I think that you're, the, the page of pentacles tells me that you want to materialize some sort of communication. So you want to get in front of somebody. You want to take them up for coffee. Can we talk about it? Can we say something? I think I got this energy in your reading that I did uh, for the week ahead, which I posted yesterday. Um, so I think that... Uh, I think that there is a communication coming here and you're about to materialize it. I think that you are trying to gain the courage to speak with the King of Wands. And uh, while I don't think it's really about intimidation, I feel like you feel for some reason that you have to feel courageous enough to be able to approach this King energy. You know, m masculine or feminine, as I always say. And whether this person is is masculine or feminine leaning on the inside, um, this person is a go-getter. This person is someone who doesn't have time to deal with your bullshit because they're, they're busy conquering the things of their heart, the passions of their heart. So I feel like that's a little bit intimidating for you. I also feel like you, you are just trying to be courageous as I think that you've just gone through some sort of a healing phase that you're ready to come out of. We have the Six of Swords. So you're moving on from something. I think that you want to, I think you want to, I think the reason that you went into healing is you want to disconnect from the chaos. There's a cycle that ended here. Six and four is ten. It's the end of a cycle. So something ended here for you that maybe put you into this healing phase. Um, I think that you've been there for a while. Four weeks, four months, maybe. But I feel like you're ready to reach out to somebody here with a message in your 3D world. Tell me what the message is. Ten of Cups. So you, I feel, are looking for emotional happiness. 
And that's something that has changed within you. I feel like you've gone through some sort of transformation as it pertains to your heart space. I want to say that possibly we've gone from, from, hmm, it's like a realization has been had because the end of a cycle has come and the end of the cycle was hard. It was harsh. There might've been hard words that were spoken and that's why you've been healing. But it feels like the, the page of pentacles tells me that you want to reach out and speak about the 10 of cups because you've had some sort of a change of mind or change of heart. Tell me more, please. Got Scorpio energy here. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Strength is Leo as well. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you're either reaching out to someone who is an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you have changed your mind and changed your feelings about someone who is an Earth sign, possibly. I want to say that the the um, death card could also indicate that you've had an ending with this person. So there was an ending of a cycle. but And I think that that ending really made you think. It really made you have some clarity, aha moments. I think that um, you realize, you now realize what path you want to take, and it's a stable one. I think you want stability. You want someone who's dependable. You want someone who is loyal, a ride or die. And you're worried about it. Why? Because you want the long-term relationship. You know that they are a soulmate, but why are you worried? Look at that. Look at all that energy. You've manifested it all. It feels like you want the relationship. You want to move in. You know this person's a soulmate. You know you want the long-term relationship. It feels like a total, a total 180 of what you were thinking before. Yeah, you want to go on a new path of passion here. And the Queen of Wands shows up. This is your person. This is your soulmate. I feel like you've manifested this all and now you've just got to break it to them. <laughs> I want to say, I think that you gotta you got to catch up with the Queen of Wands here, possibly. Now, maybe you are the King of Wands, or maybe they are. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like you're one or the other. The King or the Queen of Wands is your energy. Both of them are go-getters. They're always going to get what they want. These two are a power couple. They understand each other and what it means to follow your passions. And so they're never going to stop the other one from doing that. Because the Queen and the King of Wands understand how really important it is to live passionately in this life. I feel like you're at a crossroads here. That I feel like there's someone that's incredibly attracted to you that you have crazy good chemistry with. And I feel like you're about to tell that person all about what you've been thinking. The things that have come up since, since um, some sort of an awakening or a change of mind and a change of heart. I like it. Very cool energy. All right. Here we go, Leo. This is for you. How are you, Leo? Hope you're well. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how um, how Venus going direct has changed anything for you. If there's someone who was affected by the Venus retrograde in your sign, please let me know if how things have changed for you since it's gone direct. I'd be interested to know. Leo, I'm here with your sneak peek for this week. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you if you're cross-watching. If you need a uh, private read, please look in the description. There's a link to Wizio. Everything you need is over at that link. All right, here we go. Tell me about Leo for this week, please. Sneak peek for this week for Leo. Oh, look at that. Who else got that? First card out was Taurus. So if you're dealing with Taurus, you might want to scroll on back and take a look there. The Fool is uh, 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 Aries energy. We've got the artist. Okay. I like it. I feel, Leo, that you're about to take some sort of a leap of faith into some sort of a path that you've been wanting to take, but have been hesitant to take. I think that you're a person that moves really slow because you're a fixed sign like me. I'm a Taurus sun, right? You move at things really slow. You make decisions really slow. And it feels like there is something in the distance that you've been dreaming about. You're the artist. You're allowed to paint your own life, Leo. It doesn't matter if other people agree with you. You get to paint your own life. This is the realization that you are are the person who gets to create whatever your illusion is. Whatever you want to do, you can do. This is your life. That's why you've been brought here. So I feel like you're about to take some sort of a leap of faith here. Possibly jumping into something that maybe you've looked over quite a bit all by now already. I think that the fool indicates that there is going to be um, that there is going to be some sort of a risk that you're taking or you see it as a risk, but it it is 
necessary a necessary risk in order for you to be the artist of your life i think it's something that you want to do that other people may not agree with but i feel like you're supposed to do it you're going to reach out to somebody and communicate possibly i think you need some clarity on something here <laughs> all these cards fell out so I, they felt like i should take them let's take a look at it here you need some clarity. Oh, you're building with the Empress. Maybe you are the Empress, though, Leo. Take it as it resonates. The Empress is Venusian, and that's why she's Taurus and Libra. But it, it also represents um, the, the Empress being uh, the one that is in balance and the one who is very connected to the Earth and the stars and the one who um, is doting and kind and loving. This person is the one who who really loves to take care of people. It's no matter whether they're you know running a multi-conglomerate, multi-million dollar business or not, they still want to love and dote on the people in their lives. So I feel like you are imagining a life with the Empress. Um, the Empress is feminine leaning energy, but um, this is the, uh, the feminine looking. As society would say, this is a woman on the outside, but y'all don't get tied up in what it looks like on the outside. What we're looking at is energies, right? Feminine and masculine energies. The Empress is primarily a feminine leaning energy, but also has masculine energy. Um, and is, of course, one half of the um, uh, mother-father um, of, of the tarot, right? The ones that overlook it all. Um, the ones who have grown and the ones who have realized um, that they need to be um, who they need to be, regardless of whether people around them um, want it for them or not. And ultimately, the Empress is quite abundant. So I want to say that whatever you're, you're planning, Leo, whatever you got on the cooker, if you're willing to take the leap, um, I feel like you will be abundant in taking that leap. Because I feel like you've been looking at it long enough. The artist is the one sitting there looking at that scene in the distance and possibly sketching or writing about it. So it feels like it's been, uh, it's a very thoughtful leap of faith. By now you know whether it's going to work or not, it seems. Yeah, it feels like um, you have to take the leap in order for the net to open, my friend. And that's the thing about the universe. The universe isn't going to let you go at it carefully. The universe is going to say you want to go jump. If you want it, jump. And then I will catch you. The net will appear. If you need me to catch you, I'll catch you. But you have to be the one who makes the decision to jump. So I feel like there is either you're reaching out to somebody, either there's some sort of clarity you need, or this is a realization of your worth that um, it's time to speak to someone about the Six of Cups. Could be someone that you've known for a long time or you feel like you've known forever. But I feel like you want to speak to this person. We've got the Page of Cups here because I feel like you have feelings for this person. You could be the Empress or maybe they are. Take it as it resonates. But we have the Page of Cups. The Empress is... Um, somebody wants to give their cup to the Empress. So I don't know if that's you. Or if they're the Empress, take it as it resonates. But somebody's realized that there is a, a soulmate connection here. And they want to talk about it. Somebody wants to paint their life, including the Empress. They want to include the Empress in, their, in the, the life that they're creating. Tell me about this Page of Cups, please. What do we need to know about the Page of Cups? I think it's quite overwhelming for you to reach out to this person. We've got six and one is seven. There's one in the hand here. I want to say that that you you need to um, create momentum. I want to say you know it's right here, right? We have the strength card, which is Leo, but it feels like you you need to find the courage and the balance. You need to um, you need to approach this in a way that you've not approached anything else before. The strength card being Leo is more about what you're holding back, holding, you know, trying to uh, deal with the, the beast within that just wants to go and do everything impulsively and touch all the things, <laughs> right? I'm just thinking, I was just giggling because um, I was seeing my son at, at age two or three and he would... Uh, touch everything all the time and my dad said to me once okay well it must be time for Nathan to go he's touched everything once <laughs> that's what it feels like so it feels like the strength card tells me that you're kind of trying to uh, reel it in a little bit and um, trying to really think about what you want to do in terms of how you're feeling because this feels like new love it feels like you've you've not been 
in you've not had this little goobly feeling in your gut before and or maybe not for a very long time and i feel like it's about someone specific here it feels like you really need to get your justice it feels like if you can if you can find the courage to speak with this soulmate i feel it works out in your favor tell me why the ace of swords is here this week for leo please someone rising venus jupiter We've got the two, the three of wands. And the three of wands is, I feel that like you're waiting for someone to reach out to you, uh, to communicate with you. I feel like you're hoping somebody will reach out to you and communicate with you, but they're not doing it. And they're standing their ground. So I'm going to say, Leo, that it, it looks as though you're probably someone who is pursuing the Empress. Because the Empress does not chase. The Empress will... We'll be honest with you. The Empress is very balanced in their energy. This is someone who, you know, doesn't take most things personally. Um, I mean, there's going to be times when we all slip and slide, y'all, right? But, you know, for reasons of um, um, being Taurus and Libra, needing balance and stability in all things, I feel like the Empress feels that whatever is meant for them will never pass them by. So if you're dealing with an Empress, this person's not going to call you. This person's not going to reach out to you. And it feels like that's where it's going to stay if you decide that you're not going to reach out. What's being concealed from you is the justice. I feel like the universe is telling you if you want it, leap. Yeah. And if it's to be yours, the universe will open the net and catch you. We have the King of Cups. You really have big feelings for this person. And I think you are going to take charge of the situation. There it is. Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands. Yeah, I think you will, you will be messaging someone. Someone that you have um, uh, passion for, for sure. This person, though, I think is someone that you've realized is your soulmate. Yeah, you can't get this person out of your mind. You're obsessively thinking about going to see them, going to get them, talking to them, conversations you've had. It's an obsessive, um, the chariot is here as well, cancer. It's like an obsessive, continual uh, attachment to this person in the mind and in the emotions that you can't get rid of. So I think you're finally just going to take the leap because um, that's your person and you know it. And the reason you you know it is because of this connection that you have. You can't you can't stop thinking about them. Can't stop can't stop um, wanting to see them or be with them. The thing is, is that it feels like this this could be something that you need to do before you see them. What is being concealed from you is the justice. You are going to get justice in this situation, but I think it all depends on this, and whether or not you can you can convince the King of Cups that that's the one that needs to stand forward instead of the King of Wands. So I think you need to approach with love and not with passion, is what I'm saying. Emotion. All right. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you. Virgo, thank you for your attention on my last video. We're going to start doing your readings once a month. And once uh, we get some, some more Virgo energy here, then we can up it to every couple of weeks. And that's how we're just going to kind of grow this Virgo tribe really slowly. Thank you for your help in that. If you uh, are into giving a thumbs up, I appreciate that you've done that so other Virgos can come running. All right, here we go. This is for you, Virgo. This is for this week. Sneak peek for this week for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up this week for Virgo, please. If you're interested in a private read, my friend, please look in the description. You'll see the link to Wizio. All right, here we go, Virgo. Virgo, we got you at the Two of Pentacles. Why is that? You're very busy. Keeping things in balance. It could fall in any minute. That's what it feels like. Ooh. Virgo, we've been talking about this, right? If you go back and look at and look at the sneak peeks, um, it, it does feel like there is about to be a, a financial change in your life that maybe you're going from a place where you had a business or possibly where you had a good money flow. It feels like things are about to get a little tighter for you and uh, you're going to have to keep them in really good balance here. There you are. Yeah. 
I feel like you're thinking about how to do that right now. It feels like you're trying to formulate a plan. Now, of course, the hermit, you know, people go into hermit mode for uh, reasons of self-preservation. It's like something has happened in, in the pentacle world, in the earth world, and we need to go in by ourselves and think about it in order to understand it and go over all the details, pick it apart, figure out why we did it. And, and you know, in, in, if, in an effort not to do it again, we have to heal those parts of us that... Um, Heal those parts of us that are not necessarily, um, yeah, that we haven't mastered yet. Just listening. Yeah. I, I want to say that um, you, I feel like um, either you have become single or decided to. And if it's not that, then I feel like it's just like a confidence level of I've got everything that I need. You know, I've got I've got my education, I've got my job, I'm going to be able to take care of myself. It feels like somebody is uh, maybe possibly leaving um, a place where uh, maybe they weren't single. Yeah. I feel like you're worried about how it's going to work out. Ah, there we go. You're leaving. So you're leaving and that's why you're worried about my nine pentacles might just be cut down to two. Um, because of, you know, maybe you were living in a two-income household and now you are not um, or won't be. That's what it feels like. Just listening. You're feeling inspired. You're going to get inspired. So I'm going to say don't worry about it. If you're the one who's moving on from a relationship and becoming single, I feel like you're going to be inspired to take action in some way. And I think you're going to figure that out while you're in hermit mode by yourself, thinking about things, journaling, seeing psychology, whatever it is that you're doing to get your um, your spiritual and mental health back to a place of, of this light, finding your own light. I feel like you're, it's almost like you're making plans, making plans about how you're going to move forward, how you're going to take action and what you're going to do next. Because I feel like there's something here that was chaotic that you're cutting yourself away from. You've decided there was too much chaos there. I don't want to, I, I, I just need to move away from there. I need to be in the calm in order to be able to make decisions about what's going on. I've got the nine of swords. There's worry in the distance. I don't think you want to be single. I think you would rather be coupled. We have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. These definitely could be people in your life. Absolutely. Um, uh, a water sign or a fire sign. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. I feel as though you're leaving possibly a relationship or a job for something um, that possibly that you don't see yet that you're hoping for in, in hermit mode. I feel like you're headed toward love or you're headed toward growth in your emotional self. And maybe in the past, you were more about the passion itself, more about being a little impulsive or moving in um, ways of desire instead of uh, really looking at your pentacle world and what was needed there first. I think you're in hermit mode because it feels like you're trying to understand how to balance the King of Wands and the King of Cups. How can I balance love with my passions? How can I still be desirable or really desire someone um, in a balanced way and I think it's because I think the way that you do that is you become the king of cups as well which is a, a very big growth period knowing that you can't just impulsively follow your desires you must you know sort of ground them with pentacle energy and that there is love here as well and that it's you know you have to you have to dig deeper within yourself to figure out who you are and I think that's why you're in hermit, hermit mode I think that you're trying to dig deeper I don't think you're very confident about your pentacle world right now. And I think it's because you are leaving something that um, that was bringing you 
uh, financial support or pentacle world support so you had a place to live and you're making money and I feel like you're pulling away from all of that and it is scary because it's going to take you to the two of pentacles you might be pulling away from a relationship or a job that paid you a whole lot or somebody that took care of you and paid your bills and now you've you've got to go um, or you were you were uh, jointly paying the bills and now it's going to be all on you so I feel like it's it's triggering a growth uh, pattern for you here I feel like you're going to be in a growth pattern pretty soon if you're not already there. You may have released a Capricorn or maybe you are just deciding that you need to release anything that no longer serves you. Toxicity, um, people who are lying to you, people who are manipulating you, feeling doubt. You're releasing all of that energy while you're in hermit mode. I think you are going through some sort of huh, reckoning with yourself. That's what it feels like. This is the Virgo energy, the Hermit, by the way. Mm, you're releasing a soulmate. All right. And that's what this is then. You're releasing a soulmate. Someone that you know is your soulmate that is not good for you. I've been in that situation and it's terrible and I'm sorry you're there. Someone that you know is attached to you by the soul. And this person's not good for you. You have to release this toxic connection. They're not good for you, Virgo. Tell me what, uh, what is the result of being in hermit mode? What are the decisions that are made here? Virgo is making decisions. They are to make a decision. Yeah, you're deciding to make a decision that you need to take this mask off and see things for what they really are first before you can make any decisions about the releasing of this soulmate. I feel like you're going at it slow, going over the details. This is a very big decision for you. It's going to change the trajectory of your life when you've been with somebody, possibly could have been for a long while. And, you know, we've got nine pentacles here. They indicate years for me. We've got nine and two. Could be 11 years you've been with this person. And so this is a huge decision for you. And your decision is you need to be happy. And I agree. I agree that you need to be happy. You need to have joyous times. You need to have celebration. And I don't think you're getting it where you are right now. Yeah, I feel that you're moving forward. You're moving forward to happier times. You're moving forward to celebration. You've decided that you're going to take a leap. I feel like you're going to make a decision and take off this mask. You need happiness. You need stability. You you uh, deserve stability and happiness. Uh, it's It's... A birthright for you. you you're supposed to be here to be happy. It's not all supposed to be drama and craziness. It's supposed to be happiness. I think it's your realization as you're in the hermit mode. I think that you are changing the way that you think about the heart space, about people around you. I think that you realize that it doesn't matter if they're a soulmate. If there's someone who's breaking you or breaking your life or making you crazy or someone that's toxic and you have to release them, sometimes that's the way it is. And y'all are quick to call names, but you know what? Sometimes it's just that someone's not as far along in life as you are. And that's the truth of it. It's nothing sinister. It's just that they don't have the lessons that you have. So I think that you are uh, changing your mind about your your relationship that you're in right now. I feel like you are going to decide to uh, move forward and away from wherever it is that you are now. All right, Libra, here we go. This is you, my friend. Sneak peek for this week. Libra, my beautiful, creative lovelies. Thank you for being your balanced self. Of course, it always depends on the moon and rising. And you can meet a crazy Libra if they've got crazy moon and rising energy. <laughs> it's true. And it really is like that for any sign. It's not just like that for Libra. Okay, here we go, Libra. This is your sneak peek for the week. Here we go. Sneak peek for this week for Libra, please. If you're interested in a private read Libra, please look in the description. You'll find the link to Wizio. That's where you can book me. Ooh. All right, we got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. What else do we have for Libra, please, for this week? Libra. What else do we have for Libra? We've got temperance, which is on its side. All right, someone who is not taking any action at this moment. Temperance comes out on its side as a challenge. The challenge is, can, the challenge is, the challenge is yes, question mark. It feels like, should I move forward or should I not? The challenge is, can I get healed enough? Can I get balanced enough? 
I think that right now you feel pretty good about where you are and where, right now where you are is you're not taking action on anything. I feel like um, you're no longer, um, you're no longer in, I feel like you're, you're no longer just doing things impulsively without thinking about them first. I think there's deep thought and uh, I think that's because you've had some deep healing is what I want to say. You've had some deep healing, and so it slowed you down on sort of your impulses that maybe maybe you in the past were dating for passion, not necessarily wanting to settle down. Maybe that's changed for you. Let's take a look a little further here for you, Libra. We've got the, the two of wands. Yeah, you're about to take... Um, you're about to take a different path. I think that you want an adventure. I think you've decided that it's time for a new path of passion and you're going to take that. But I think that this is telling me that the universe is kind of slowing you down a bit. And I want to say that's I'm going to say it loud and proud for the whole, the, for the whole Virgo season. Hallelujah, Virgo slows us down, makes us look over ourselves, makes us look at the details, makes us um, really see things for what they are. And I feel like this is this is Virgo energy's effort of just slowing you down and saying, look, slow it down, figure it out, don't move impulsively. Um, things that are worth having are worth having in stability and not unstable right because i feel like that that possibly in the past you were sort of jumping into relationships or jobs um things that maybe you didn't really think out all the way to the end uh, about where this could end up i want to say that you are about to embark on something new some sort of new adventure but i want to say that you're doing it slowly and making sure that the things within you that are the characters of the Knight of Wands, being impulsive, going quickly, rushing to the finish line. I feel like Temperance is here to heal that. And so this person stands waiting, right? Um, knowing that, you know, life is out there. They've decided they want to go on this path of passion. I want this adventure, but I have to, I have to hang back first. It's a transformation you've had about how you move in the world and what you're really willing to put your effort in on. That not every situation in your life is is uh, something that is something that requires uh, all of your effort. Some of it's just not worth it, and that's the truth. And you can't give 100% of your effort to everybody's cause. Eventually, you have to sort of look within, and that's what the Eight of Pentacles is about. Eventually, you have to look at self-mastery and know that you're the person who is in charge. You have the wand in hand. You're the person who's in charge, and you can do whatever you want. You can go on your adventures, but it is going to take hard work. Yeah, I want to say that this Knight of Wands being in the reverse was telling me that you're you're not moving quickly, you're not rushing for the finish line, you're not, um, you know, I don't think that you're someone who wants to get married or married right away, but I think that the Death card here is transformational energy. It, it feels like you're now going to be very specific about where you put your energy, that you're not just going to give it to anyone who asks for it, because you, I think, are... Through this transformation and healing that you've had here, transformational healing, I feel like you realize that you're in charge and if people want to follow, they can follow, but you're going to do what you need to do for yourself. And I love it because Eight of Pentacles is about self-mastery. I'm going to do it for me. It's going to lead you into some type of partnership. Death to the, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like you, you get your traction back. I also feel like you've been waiting, waiting for a shift of energy or waiting to feel healed. We've got three wands here between the Knight of Wands and the two. And it feels like you've been waiting for to feel better, to feel like you had the energy to get up and do it, to put all the hard work in. And I think that you're ready now. I want to say that maybe possibly there is some sort of a... Um, some sort of a partnership that has come to an end for you, or you're seeing it differently since you've healed. Since you've changed and since you've healed, you might be seeing this, this uh, Three of Pentacles differently than you used to, and what you want in a partnership, and where am I willing to build to, and um, maybe I need a friendship first. 
Maybe I need to know whether I work with this person really well before I can decide if I want to move forward. And see, you're not doing it impulsively. The temperance here has slowed you down a little bit. I feel like you do have um, very much success uh, in working on the self. And I also feel like because of that, you're seeing things clearer. You have a clearer idea of what you want in a partnership here. I think your mind has changed about what you want and that maybe in the past, maybe you led with passion. But I feel like what you want to lead with now is healing. Healing, transparency. This is growth. You, you really, because you're in a mindset of growth and working hard on yourself, I think that you are also um, realizing that that's what you need in a partner. That you need to up your standards, which can be a lonely thing because I'm telling you that as you as you ascend, you're going to have less and less people to choose from. Because not many people are brave enough to get to the place you are right now, Libra. Yeah. So the the uh, sun is here to say you're in a growth spirit, spurt here. <laughs> and, and it comes up on the eight of pentacles, which is really beautiful because it is self-mastery. So you're now looking at yourself through a clearer lens and not the lens that other people clouded up for you. Um, the sun is uh, professional growth, um, personal growth, growth spiritually, uh, growth possibly within your family if you have a family. Um, but I feel like you're working on yourself because you want to go on some sort of a new adventure here. Yeah, four of wands, I think the clarity that you're getting is I don't necessarily want to be living with someone or I don't want to get married. I just want to be able to go out on the adventures. It feels like you have, you've really worked on yourself and I think that you are, hmm, Okay, you want to fall in love, but you don't want to get married. <laughs> Understood. It is a worry, right? You're worried. Yeah, because now you see it all really clear that a partnership to you seems to be the thing that you're after. You're not after weddings. You're not after marriage. You're not after um, uh, living with someone. It feels like you have healed to a point with a realization that those things will come to you if they're supposed to, but they are not your focus. I think you worry about falling in love. Yeah, because you've had a broken heart before. No one ever seems to see it from your side. So you close the chapter. I feel that you feel misunderstood, but I also feel you've got a clean slate. I'm just going to say you may have closed the chapter on something in the past where maybe you didn't feel enough because it feels like you were working on yourself a lot. And I think now that you know what you can give, what you can give is a partnership. You're not interested in the four of wands. You're not interested in engagement or moving in with anybody. What you want to do is fall in love. I think that you are interested in falling in love, but you're scared because you've had your heart broken before. So now you're trying to look at everything from a different point of view. And I feel that the decision is I just need to close this chapter on being taken advantage of or, you know, acting on my impulses. I feel like somebody is about to go forward a little slower here. Yeah, going to take your time. The Four of Cups is a redundant place. And I think that what's ending is that the redundancy of not being able to share love and not being able to receive it. I feel like um, you've had a change here. Yeah, and now you're manifesting other things, making big decisions, hoping that there's victory in the distance. I think if you choose it, it will be, Libra. You have to choose it in order for it to come to life. I think you're in the hanged man energy right now. The hanged man energy is a place where you're trying to look at the other side. And then we've got you... Uh, here we go. Yeah. I think that you know eventually you're going to become confident by yourself. You're going to be making your own money. You're going to be taking care of business. I feel like it's in your gut that it's coming for you. Um, I really feel like there is a big decision that you have to make. The judgment card is here. A big decision you're going to have to make about what you're going to do in your next connection. Or maybe you're in one already. All right. All right. Scorpio, how are you, my friends? Thank you so much for clicking here, my psychic friends. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's for Scorpio for this week. Thank you so much for being here. If you're interested in a private read, Scorpio, please look in the description. Everything you need is there, including the link to Wizio. Tell me about Scorpio. Well, you know what? I am going to take a drink. Give me a second. Just one moment. Scorpio, I hope you're well. 
All right. I'll just drop a lot of things off camera here. <laughs> you can hear them. <laughs> All right. Scorpio, let's figure it out. All right. We've got the Four of Cups, Scorpio. So you've, you're in a situation where you're not really giving anyone your two cups and you're not really receiving any cups. You feel like you're in this redundant energy. Maybe a little gloomy, wondering. Maybe it's in a bit of a stall. Emotions are in a bit of a stall right now. Mm, but you know something's coming. You do know something's coming. We've got uh, the High Priestess, who is Piscean Energy. Scorpio, you also have that knowing Pisces. I think for some of you, we, we could be talking about <clears throat> being really bored in the place of work and really wanting to move forward. I think you know that eventually that you're just going to get too bored to stay. And um, I feel like your gut is telling you that you're now just sort of walking the hamster wheel. If it is, if we are talking about work, because we've got the Eight of Pentacles here putting in the hard work. Um, I think it's time for you to make a decision about what you want to do as it pertains to what you do for a living. A big decision. The Eight of Pentacles tells me that possibly you've been growing personally. Like I, the Eight of Pentacles for me is putting the hard work in, but this, especially this one because of all the butterflies. And she's painting butterfly wings. Hard, intricate work. Transformational work. Work that possibly is... It could be that you're doing some sort of work that you don't really need to think about while you're doing it. You know, a lot of that, I've worked on an assembly line. Assembly line work is like that. You don't really have to be present at your job in order to be able to, um, to be able to meditate. It feels like you, uh, you're you bored with wherever you are, whether that's a relationship or um, a job, whatever it is. And I feel like your gut is about to pull at you and tell you that it's time. It's time to make a decision to get out of this Four of Cups here. Mm, time to make more money. It's time for your abundance here. King of Pentacles is the one who's grown, right? The one who is interested in having a family and supporting that family financially in the in the Pentacle world. Someone who who is looking for other people to support in the Pentacle world, uh, looking for a partner and maybe children, that kind of thing. Uh, but I feel like if we are talking about love, that's where we're at. If we're talking about a business or we're talking about um, you changing jobs, uh, your gut is telling you that there is something else out there for you that is going to bring in a whole lot more money than what you're doing right now. I think you've been thinking about it. It's been on your mind. You've been quiet about it. You're not telling anyone else about it. But you're thinking about making sort of a major move. Whether that be in or out of a relationship or out of a job. Queen of Cups. I think that you've been growing. It's kind of beautiful. As I look at this, this particular rendition of the Eight of Pentacles, it's like um, really looking at the details, really um, rendering some beautiful work, work that you love. I feel like you really love what you do, but maybe you're in the wrong place doing it, whether that's a relationship or a job. I feel like you have a lot to give, that you're very kind and healing and giving and that you give from the heart all the time. And it almost feels like the place where you are, whether it's relationship or work, is, is some place that has the potential to, to drain you. Because the Queen of Cups on her own without all the other queens as the Empress is someone who is always in danger of being depleted and giving away too much. She doesn't really have a, you know, this, this person is emotionally available and emotionally intelligent. This is the one who's possibly, you know, the mothered energy or the feminine type doting energy. But it also, I feel that you've had to work hard to get here, to get to that place. And I think that you've outgrown your environment pentacle environment, whether that's work or a relationship. But you got to be brave. You got to be brave to get what you want. 
The thing is, is I, I feel with the Wounded Warrior energy showing up here that maybe you are, you're someone who's always had to fight for what you want. Like, look, there's there's people born with, with, with uh, more, th how can I say? There's people who are born in abundance, right? Generational wealth. That's not you. I feel like you're the person who's always had to fight for it, had to work for it. Um... But you've always done that and it's always worked. I'm going to say because the, the king of pentacles is the one who has the minus touch. So I want to say that if you have grown to understand your pentacle world, that your gut is telling you that it's time to move forward because there's something more abundant out there for you. The king of pentacles doesn't have to look for opportunity. Opportunity finds the king of pentacles. They are the master uh, at, at manifesting at this point. That's why they're so abundant. And they manifest abundance, whether that ends up being money or or their, whatever else is in their pentacle life, their car, their house, their job. I think that you're hesitant to maybe leave the job or leave the relationship because uh, the Queen of Cups is here. Because the Queen of Cups is like, well, what are they going to do? How, what are they going to do without me? I don't want to leave this person. What are they going to do without me? And it's also a fear of what am I going to do without them? Nervous. I just heard Dion Warwick uh, saying, I know I'll never love this way again. I know I'll never love this way again, but I keep holding on until the good is gone. So you may be holding on to a job or a relationship here. This is your energy, right? The Queen of Cups is Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Yeah, you're moving on from somewhere here. Even though you're nervous to do it, it makes you scared. It feels like it's it's too chaotic for you. And you're bored with it. And it's time for you to, to move someplace that is calmer. I think you're taking with you the lessons that you've learned from wherever it is that you're leaving. The Lovers is here. So to me, it does look like a relationship. It feels like somebody has decided they need to leave a relationship. Yeah, it's a manifestation of a lover. So I think that you're about to open up to somebody here, Scorpio. The Four of Pentacles is in the reverse. The Four of Pentacles being in the reverse for me is being a little more vulnerable, not being shut down, not being shut off. I feel like this is something that you've been working on. See, you're the magician, right? You've got all the tools. You've got all four aces in hand. You can do whatever you want with them at this point, and I think it's a realization after the growth that you've gone through. Maybe the emotional growth, right? The Queen of um cups is here and i think that it's all very scary to you but i think you're about to leave somewhere significant and you're about to move forward to somewhere significant you're going to be re restarting or beginning again in the page of pentacles you are um I think after a time of being disconnected or cut off from somebody i feel like you're about to send a message somebody who you're considering possibly for a long-term relationship again the message comes up it, you could be dealing with a leo We've got the moon. You're about to be very honest with somebody. Something's about to be revealed for you under the sun. And I feel like it's some sort of a long-term relationship here, a commitment. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Pisces is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Leo, Cancer, Pisces. All right. That's for you, my friend. And we just had this pop out. Stop picking up burdens, my friend. <laughs> Stop picking up burdens. <laughs> Start unloading them. It's time for you to unload some, some sort of burden that you've been carrying around. It's about beginning again. Yeah. It's about leaving some place to go to another place. And so whether we're talking about a relationship or um, whether it's a relationship we're talking about or a job, I feel like you're moving on to somewhere else. All right. Sagittarius, this is you, my Saggy friends. I am a Sagittarius rising. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you, my fire family. Thank you for your attention on my last video. I appreciate you so much. Let's take a look here. If you're interested in a private read, my friend, please go to the description. You'll see the link for Wizio. It'll take you to the place where you need uh, that you need to book me. All right, here we go. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's talk about this week for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Saggies. All right, what do we got here? We've got the Ace, or sorry, the Page of Swords is in the reverse. Interesting. Why is the Page of Swords in the reverse? It almost feels like you found the information that you've been looking for. All right, so for some of you Sagittarius, you found the information you've been looking for. And the information you've been looking for is where are they? I thought that they were coming. I want to say that the information you figured out is that somebody has another person. Yeah, I sometimes see the um, this person as the other woman. Now, I understand you're Sagittarius and this is your energy, but I feel like you have been waiting for this cup from this Knight of Cups here. And I want to say that there's been some sort of a revelation or something that you've realized or come across. There's information or knowledge that you've dug up. Hmm. Tell me more about that. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. You've dug up some information. And it's as it pertains to the Knight of Cups and why it's moving so slowly, perhaps. We've got the King of Wands coming out on its side. It's your soulmate. You've realized or dug up some information on the soulmate. Look, I'm, I say dug up, but it's not as sinister as that. I mean that I feel like somebody's brought you information or you've come across something. It's an aha moment. You saw something on social media or in the neighborhood, and it is about the King of Wands. So it's about your soulmate or someone that you see as your your equal. If I feel like the thing that you found out is something that went on with the King of Wands in the past. And yeah, it's something you didn't know about the King of Wands. King of Wands, of course, is is uh, Leo, but um, in this reading also Aries and Sagittarius in a general reading. Very interesting energy here. The reason that somebody has not been taking charge on love is, I believe, somebody here is looking into the past. I feel like you're figuring out something. I want to say that the emperor might be your person and that they are taking action or taking um, the initiative in love, but not with you. I feel like it's with somebody else. I feel like your emperor is is romantically involved with someone, and I think that's the information that you've come up with. Somebody told you that information, you saw it online, whatever it was. The King of Wands is looking in the past. Look, I think that um, I think that this person, if they are a fire sign, they could be. We do have Aries, and we have Aries Sagittarius Leo. <coughs> that this person has done something impulsively, um, that they may be, um, maybe you feel that they've, they've impulsively jumped into another relationship, but I think that this person, the emperor, is the one that has taken charge on the, on the romantic thing with somebody else. That's what it feels like here. Just listening. Oh, and I think it's terrible for you because I think that you you thought this person was your soulmate. You may have liberated yourself, Sagittarius. You may have said something finally that you should have said a long time ago. It feels like you've liberated yourself in some way by speaking up or speaking out, telling this person exactly how you felt about the information that you came upon. You may have um, you may have decided to liberate yourself with the King of Wands. I feel like you probably said something to the King of Wands. Like, you need to decide what you're doing. Is it me? Are we an actual couple? Uh, it feels like somebody's been, um, like the King of Wands is here looking into the past, which makes me think like this, this King of Wands still has other options or opportunities as it pertains to passion and desire. 
And I feel like you figured that out or you found that out. And I feel like you, you probably are going to either speak to this person this week or you have already spoken to this person. I want to say that you found out that your King of Wands is taking action on another romantic situation. And I think it's heartbreaking. Tell me about this Emperor and the Knight of Cups, please. Yeah, they're in a long-term relationship. And they didn't tell you. They lied to you. So you may have felt something was fishy. If you're the one who is in a relationship seeing someone who is non-committal, it may have felt a little fishy to you that this person was non-committal to you for so long. And I think that the information that's coming out is that you figured out that this person was non-committal because they were wanting to commit to somebody else the whole time. They didn't tell you about the 10 of pentacles. So I feel like this person either has been dating somebody else or seeing somebody else and they took the initiative. It's not like somebody pursued them. They pursued somebody else and it is romantic. It's a romantic connection. But they led you to believe that you were the soulmate. We've got the strength card here and now I feel like in, the, in light of the information you found, whether you found it yourself or someone brought it to you, sent you a message about it, it feels like you got to be courageous here. Yeah. Got to be courageous because somebody is taking the leap of faith with their, with their Ace of Cups, and I don't think they're giving it to you. I think that this person, that Ace of Cups that's right there, belongs to this emperor and I think that the emperor is uh, has decided that they want a long-term relationship with someone else and I think it's because you liberated yourself and look you should have you should have it's supposed to work out the way it's supposed to work out you were supposed to say something and then they get to make their decision do I want to stay do I want to go and what should we do when they go get out of the doorway and into the flow allow people to leave as they will allow people to arrive as they will the queen knows this message she understands that I'm just going to be who I'm going to be authentic and honest I'm going to be tell you exactly how I feel in a way that um, you need to understand and then you get to make your decision about what you want to do and I think that when you put pressure on somebody about a new beginning and do you love me, I feel like what you got back was, I'm out. We've got the, the King of Swords here as well. We've got the Three of Wands and we have the Four of Swords. So I think that there was probably a conversation between two people that was very pointed and factual and honest and hurtful. And I feel that you that you knew it was coming. The Three of Wands, you were just waiting for it. And at least now that it's done, now you get to heal for as long as you want. It doesn't matter. You take the time that you need to heal. Yeah, to get yourself back to a place of stability. I know who I am. I'm sitting on my own throne. I'm solid. I have worth. I feel like you need to get back to that place now. Um, I'm going to say that, that if you don't know this already, you are going to come across the information that somebody has not chosen you. That the Emperor has chosen to move ahead with someone they didn't tell you about. And you didn't see it coming, my friend. Two of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Someone is off on another adventure. I'm sorry, Sag. I'm just going to leave that there. I think that this is the week that you either have to talk and say, look, do you love me or, you, or do you not? Because we saw the ace, uh, the fool and the ace of cups, but it is up against the, 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 um, the strength card, which is courage. So you had the courage to have this conversation with that person. You came at them in swords. They came back at you at swords. I think that we cut everything out here. We cut each other out and the emperor is on their way. I hope it's not true for you, but if it is, I'm sorry. I think you're taking it as best you can. Being the Queen of Swords, I think you're trying to keep emotion out of it, but yeah, I think it's hurtful. All right. Capricorn, this is you. 
Thank you, Capricorn, for clicking here. I appreciate you, and thank you so much for your attention on my last video. Thank you, thank you. I'll keep doing monthly readings for you, Capricorn, until we can get to a place where we've got uh, where we've built up the Capricorn tribe here, and then um, we will do them more often, right? Every couple of weeks. Let's build this tribe together. Thank you for your thumbs up and the way that you've been loving on this. Um, um, this tribe, the way that you do, the way you're in the comments and your thumbs up, I appreciate you. All right, here we go, Capricorn. This is for you. This is your sneak peek for this week. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capis. Ooh, look at that. All right, look, I think you're going through some changes right now, Capricorn, that are not fun. I'm going to say change, the, the Wheel of Fortune takes some time. When you say you want something and the universe agrees that that's the thing that you should get, which they always do, um, they start putting putting things in order. And I think that as things are being put in order, uh, it's not been fun, I'm going to say. But it, it's, it's the Wheel of Fortune. It's abundance. It's Jupiter. It's all the things you want right now. Understand Jupiter is in, in, um, in retrograde right now, which is causing you to look at yourself. And what do you want? What are the passions that you want? What is it that you want? Tell the universe. The universe wants to know. Tell me what the most fortunate thing is that you can think of. And I think that you're manifesting that. But in order for it to come about, change must take place. Faded change. Yeah. The universe pull is, is right in the middle of all of it here. You may have been in a relationship with someone in the past who is younger than you. The page is... You know, between 7 and 14 years old, I'm not saying you dated someone that young, but they were immature or they were someone who was younger than you. The page is looking at the past. I feel like this never got past the page of wands. And so I want, I want to say that this, although uh, maybe you had love feelings for this person, that this person, your person, couldn't really go past the page of wands. There may have been a big age difference. They don't have the lessons that you have. I think this person may be in the past because... You've told the universe that you want changes, that you are the queen of wands and you want what you want. You've decided that you're taking your own path. You're going to go. You're going to go get what you want because you always get what you want, Capricorn. The queen of wands is someone who is sitting on their throne despite everything, in spite of everything that's gone on in the past. And I think you're still there. <laughs> yeah. I think that you will be there once again if you feel like that you're not there, if you're not the Queen of Wands, who is who is fiery, who gets what she wants, colors outside the lines, I don't care what you're thinking, I'm authentically me. I feel like there's a lot of changes going on in your life right now in order to put you back on the throne. You may have asked the universe, how can I be more passionate? How can I get the things that I want? The universe starts changing up your life to give you the manifestation. It's not like you just pop out of one timeline and into another. It takes a, It's a process of change over a period of time. It's a process of change here that I think is happening super quick for you. I think it's it's been a tough transition or it will be a, tr a tough transition this week. Temperance is here to try and lighten the load, mute it, make it feel better, make it feel kinder, softer, these changes. But I feel like they're going to be happening really quick. And look, you're an earth sign, just like Taurus and Virgo. We don't like to move quick at things. We move slow and methodically. Um, I feel like you do want to be able to make decisions quicker and on the fly but what I want to say is you're an earth sign and ultimately I feel like that's what's going on here that the universe is trying to hold back this eight of wands here trying to slow down the process just a little bit to try and make it feel a little easier you may be someone who's going from you know the the page of wands to being the queen and this is a big transition of energy it's a bunch of lessons one after the other after the other after the other so it's like you've asked the universe to help out and the universe is helping out but it's coming in the form of changes which are going to be fortunate changes in the future you're going to end up the queen on the throne but on the way through it's going to be hard and fast and quick these changes are coming at you right now and it's been tough for you. 
we have the uh, world in reverse. It feels like there's unfinished business. So I want to say that you're in the middle of something. You're in the middle of transition. Nothing is closed. It's like something is still open, but you want it to be closed, but it can't be closed just yet. I think that the world is coming up in the reverse for a reason. It's because temperance is here. It's because if you slam that door really hard, really fast, I feel like it's too uh, harsh. Yeah, it feels like way, the energy is way too harsh. It's moving way too fast. I feel like keeping this unfinished business here, um, it's almost like you want to keep the door open just in case. But I think you're healing, and I think you're healing to move forward, move forward really quickly. I think you've been hurt a lot, and it might be this person that hurt you. This fire sign from the past who is very immature, a lot younger than you possibly. But um, the, the, the temperance is all about healing and kindness and balance and finding the moment of alchemy. The moment of alchemy is here, which brings in the wheel of fortune. It's like you said to the universe, I need a big fat change. And the universe says, fine, then it's all in your hands. You're the queen of wands. Go get what you want. But it's going to be harsh change. I think that you've left the door open here for somebody. Tell me about the world card. I think you are hesitating to close some sort of a chapter. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Let me get that fell off the table. There we go. I've got the Seven of Wands. So you're holding your ground on the unfinished business. You're holding the door open. Your foot is in the door. Capricorn, you're waiting to see if this person is going to come back or is going to turn back. Page of Pentacles, you're waiting for a message. You're waiting for them to message you. Why is that? Because you want to heal. I think you're leaving the door open on something where the door should be closed. I think you're hesitating. I feel like you don't feel you're healed enough to close this door and end the chapter and be done with it. And so you're holding your ground. It's like I see the Seven of Wands and the World card in the reverse as you've got your foot in the door. You're not allowing the person to close the door, but I think the other person is already on their way. I think that they're gone or um, have left you or have left the relationship. It feels like they're already out, but you're holding the door open. You got your foot in the door, the Page of Pentacles. You're trying to get them to come back or, or providing a way for them to come back so you can heal. So you can heal with them. Are they coming back though? Is this person coming back for Capricorn? Tell me, is this person coming back for Capricorn? Yep, they are. They are going to be coming back for you because they realize that you have value. They see your value. They know that you're all of it. Capricorn, you're no longer pretending you're the you're no longer pretending that you're the empress. You are the empress. So it's it's Taurus and Libra energy, but you know it's a Venusian uh, card, and so it's all about the Venus energy, which is which is the Taurus and and uh, Libra energy. I feel as though somebody is going to try and come back around. I feel like you've been making a whole lot of changes in your life and it all is rolling up to you being the empress. You're learning the last lesson I feel that you are learning is with the queen of wands, knowing your worth, knowing you can have what you want when you want it and you don't have to ask a damn person about it. I feel like somebody is coming back around for you though and I feel like they have regret and that's why they're coming back around. But I don't know. I don't know, are you going to let them pass the gate? Because she's got her sword up. She's got some things to say. I say she because there's a woman on the card, but understand it's masculine, feminine energies we're looking at. I feel like there's doves around her. I feel like you're ready to cut out someone in love or you're ready to give them a piece of your mind. You showing up as the empress, you have liberated yourself. You've learned the lesson of the, king of the queen of swords and the queen of wands. You've learned to speak your mind. And I think that's what you're going to do. I think this person's coming back around, but regretfully, I think you stopped them at the gate. Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. You know that you can have victory elsewhere in love. You need to find someone who is going to give you reciprocity. And I don't think it's this person. No, nope, they're shady. This person is shady. It's like they, they, they keep things in the moon energy 
it feels as though they've they've been what they've been keeping in the moon energy is the two of cups and the two of wands they've made a decision that maybe they're going to share their love energy with someone else and you don't see it i think that's maybe you didn't see it and that's probably where that person has gone uh, we've got the uh, eight of cups which means somebody disconnected from you uh, you did some healing and I feel like you're ready to take another run at it, to be honest. We've got the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. It feels like um, after the healing, you're ready with the Ace of Cups and you're ready for the Ten of Cups. You're ready to find your soulmate. You know what? I feel like this week you're dealing with this. There's a lot of changes here. Some of the changes you're dealing with are transformation. There's there's change in your money. Um, I feel like you're going to have more money than you used to have. I feel like this person here, this person may have been living off of you. And I think that um, I think that with the Wheel of Fortune here, the changes that are coming is, that's the end of that. I don't think you're supporting this family anymore. Um, or not this family, this person. I don't think you're supporting this person financially anymore. I think you're gaining confidence. And I feel like there is a soulmate out here for you. But I want to say that it's a soulmate who is fiery. So I don't know if you have fire energy, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But I feel like there is somebody out there that matches you as you are the Empress. As you are right now. I feel like somebody recognizes you as the soulmate. And I don't think it's this person. Because we're dealing in kings and queens. You're the king or the queen. This is the child. All right. All right, all right, all right. Aquarius. It is your turn, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. For this week, this is your sneak peek for this week, Aquarius. Let's figure it out. Aquarius, if you're interested in a private read, please look below. You'll find a link to Wizio. All right, here we go. That's where you can book me for a private if you want it. Here we are. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for this week. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, please. All right. Aquarius, you're holding your ground. Um, here, it feels like you're holding your ground on a partnership that you've disconnected from. Um, somebody could have disconnected from you. Take it as it resonates, but the Seven of Wands is just that. I'm standing my ground here. Yeah, you can't pass. Somebody's protecting something. I'm standing my ground in a in a in some sort of a partnership. This could be business. I, I don't see this as love. I don't see the Three of Pentacles as a love. It's friendship, business, friend of a friend, being in a group of people. Um, but we have the Eight of Cups. It feels like you're standing your ground as you've pulled your energy away. You've gone off looking, I feel, for something that's more fulfilling than Eight Cups. I feel like you're off to look for the Two because you know that you're worth the Ten. Um, the Three of Pentacles here tells me that there is some sort of a partnership that you're standing your ground on um, a little bit of stubborn energy here tell me what, what else we need to know please about Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for this week hmm. regardless of, of what's going on emotionally I feel like you want happiness you want happiness and growth you're looking forward to family and fun and being clear and having clarity and seeing for miles and miles for growing for grounding i feel like the sun is telling me that you're holding your ground on i get to be happy and that may be why you're walking away knight of wands You may be wanting to reach out and speak with someone who is who is the partnership, the person that you've met, or the person that you've been in this partnership with. The Knight of Wands is impulsive energy. It's very quick. It's kind of fleeting, not much stability. I'll get to where I need to go and I'll get there quickly. It doesn't matter how I get there. Sketchy details, not telling you all the details, but I'm just going to do whatever I need to get there to the partnership. Somebody here is, I feel like you're standing your ground on stability. You want a stable partnership. 
Somebody here I feel is showing up in your energy that's very attractive and very desirable and they think you're very desirable. And I think you're trying to stand your ground against this person who is ultimately attractive has a lot of desire for you, you desire them, I feel as though what you're holding your ground on is happiness. I think you want stable happiness, but I think that you are being tempted with the Knight of Wands energy. We have the Two of Swords and the Lovers in Reverse. Look, I feel as though I feel as though you see the Knight of Wands for who they are. The Two of Swords being in the reverse tells me you make a decision about your happiness, about your clarity, about being happy and having the things that you want. I really do feel that maybe you felt that this lover was someone who was your soulmate, but now you question it, or maybe it's the way that they come at you that you question it. But the lovers, it feels like you have no choice, I want to say. You have no choice but to make a decision that makes you happy. And if that means walking away from someone who's not giving you stability, putting them in the friend zone, then that's what you got to do. Yeah, this person I feel is toxic. Like, I feel like you wanted to have a new beginning with this person. I think that's all you've been thinking about. I think you're sad that you've not been able to have, um, have a new beginning with somebody here. But what I want to say is rejection is protection. Look, the lovers doesn't come out on the top of the Knight of Wands for no reason. It's not coincidence. The fact of the matter is you feel like you have no choice, that you can't fight yourself against the desire of wanting them, the idea of them being very attractive, like you you just can't seem to let go. I feel like what you're going to do rather than letting go from this person, Aquarius, is put them in the friend zone. You have no other choice. The lovers is in reverse. Once you see what you see, once you take off this mask and you see it for what it really is, you don't have any other choice but to put them in the friend zone because this person is toxic and you realize it now. Tell me about the sun, please. Tell me about this good decision. I think it's a good decision. <laughs> yeah, to just, to just not make a decision. Yeah, it's your gut that's telling you here. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and um, the Chariot and the High Priestess. So your gut's telling you, pick happiness. Choose happiness. That's where the victory is. That's where the abundance is. It's in your confidence. Living alone, being alone, being single, confident, taking care of your pentacles, taking care of your money, living a life of abundance and stability. Because I don't think that this person is going to give you that. Yeah, you do end it with them. It's too overwhelming. Look, it's a mismatch of energy. It's empresses and knights. Empresses, th the thing is this, is once you, <clears throat> once you do make it to the empress level, which is wisdom, by the way, it's the learning of lessons. You don't just decide you're the empress because you're a Taurus or a Libra. Um, when you're the empress, regardless of what your sign is, you are someone who has, who is in a different vibration, who is in <clears throat> a vibration of ending it if it's not working out for you. If it becomes too overwhelming, I'm cutting it off. And I think that's what's happening with the Knight of Wands. I think you've realized that you're the Empress and you deserve an Emperor. You don't deserve a, a Knight of Wands, somebody who's not going to give you stability, somebody who's kind of toxic, somebody who doesn't really give you choices that they come on to you with desire, hoping that it's going to, hoping that it's going to uh, get them what they want. We've got the King of Swords. This person also may be really good with their words really good with their words yeah but i think the realization the change and the upheaval in the mind for you is about your worth it's about the king of pentacles regardless of whatever words the other person comes at you with i think that you are reminded of your worth ultimately taurus taurus you're ultimately reminded of your worth and that you deserve more than this instability and this toxicity this person's a cheater. We've got the we've got the King of Wands in the reverse. They're egoic. They're a cheater. They're someone who um, who's trying to who feels that a long term relationship is a burden. 
So if you're the person who's looking for a long-term relationship with the Knight of Wands, it's not going to happen. They see a long-term relationship as a burden. They are someone who requires variety in the love life. And that's not who the Empress is. The Empress is solid and grounded and knows her worth and is not going to put up with the Knight of Wands. I think you're telling somebody to hit the road, Jack. And I think it's the tower that they experience. That you're probably one who is who has allowed them to come in and out of your life a lot because you have feelings for them. But I think the buck stops here. That's what it feels like, Aquarius. You're no longer going to let them do that to you. Bravo to you. Felt like there was some weird cards in the middle here. No? Nope. Thought maybe it was mixed with another deck. All right. Here we are. Oh, yeah. See? There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Mix around. There we are. All right. Here we go, Pisces. This is for you, my two fishes friends. I'm two fishes in my moon sign. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here. Appreciate that you want to watch this. Thank you for your... Um, um, your views on my last video, please. There, there, or thank you. There are not a lot of videos, uh, uh, Pisces and Cancer videos, on my channel that have a lot of views. So if you want me to continue to read for Pisces and Cancer, please offer a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's for this week, Pisces. Sneak peek for this week, my friend. Sneak peek for this week for Pisces. Ooh, okay, here we go. They both came out on their sides. The challenge is that there is an Ace of Cups coming at you. You need to be courageous about it. Why is that? Somebody's finding the courage to bring the Ace of Cups. Tell me about this. Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands. It's someone who is... Someone who is fear. Scared of love. It could be someone who is a Leo. It doesn't have to be, of course, but it, the strength does tell me that somebody is trying to gain the courage to be brave enough to come out from behind the fear wall. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, someone who's been hurt over and over again. Someone is, I, I like this one because this person's looking into the future. What happens if I drop these wands right here? I wonder what happens if I decide to come out from behind the fear wall to not be scared anymore, to be brave. Somebody here wants to be brave about their love, Pisces. Tell me more for Pisces, please. Sneak peek for this week for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for cross-watching. All right. Hmm. Somebody is going to liberate themselves. Someone's coming in to say something. It's taking them a little bit because I feel like they're trying to find the courage to liberate themselves, to speak to you on their feelings, to be very, very honest about how they feel about you, Pisces. They see your worth. They know what you're worth. This person is going to speak about their feelings. They see your worth, Pisces. They know that you are, they know that you're Empress material. That's the Queen of Pentacles, the one who is manifesting what she wants and acting as though she already has it. She, the Queen of Pentacles is not the Empress, but she is acting as though she already is. And that's exactly how you manifest. I feel like this person who is the Queen of Pentacles might be someone that makes you a little bit nervous uh, because this person does have worth and they know their worth. Like, look at this person. They know who they are. They know they look good. <laughs> you know, they, they know who they are. I feel like you're no longer going to let anyone speak for you. You're going to speak for yourself. You're trying to find the courage to do that. hanged man somebody is seeing it from your point of view 
someone is looking at something from another point of view and that's why they're going to speak about their feelings. They're trying to be courageous because if I'm being honest, I think that you intimidate them just a little bit and it might be because you're stable. You're stable in your pentacle world, like your money is good, you live in a place that you're happy with, you're you're someone who knows their worth, you know, you know that you're not going to let just any old body come at you. I've got Piscean energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo energy. Somebody here wants to speak to you. The Ace of Swords is in the future. They want to speak to you about romantic things. Somebody's going to be very, going to give you a lot of clarity about how they feel in terms of romance. If this is someone you haven't heard from. They've been quiet with you because they've been trying to heal or think about the situation or feel it out, looking over the details like Virgo, and their gut is telling them, look at it slowly grounded. That's what Virgo season is about. Hallelujah for Virgo. Virgo season is about slowing it down, looking into your pentacle world. I need to figure out what's going on in my gut. Do I want to materialize it here? I feel like you've been keeping all of this concealed or they have. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like somebody wants to speak with you. Um, the queen of swords to me is someone who wants to let you know how they feel about you. person is going to send you a message or maybe you're sending the message take it as it resonates but somebody is seeing it from your side and wants to send a message to the queen of pentacles it's going to be surprising you're not expecting it and i feel it's going to be a really good message i feel you welcome it so this isn't someone that did you wrong and blah 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 bitch 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 in the comments it's not who i'm talking about this is someone you've been hoping to hear from that you will hear from you'll be surprised to hear from them and it's going to be a happy time for you the sun is here it's going to give you growth it's it's, it's almost as if this hanged man was a bit of a block. It's like I'm trying to see things from the other side. The person who's going to tell you about their feelings and possibly about love is somebody who, um, who, who couldn't say the words. I always see this particular page as someone who's kind of embarrassed or um, has a little bit of, you know, this person is kind of looking at you like, yeah. Um, it almost feels like this person is... I feel like this this person who is thinking about the situation from your point of view now is someone who maybe was coming at you as a page of wands. I feel like with the page of wands and the page of cups here that this person I feel is going to reconnect with you. I think it's going to be um, something that you're not expecting. I think it's going to be fun and flirty. And I also feel like it's a surprise for you. But I think it's the best surprise ever. I think that you've been hoping to hear from this person. They could be a Leo. You're going to get a happy surprise. Oops. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Wow. I think, Pisces, that when this person connects with you, they're going to tell you that their party days are over or that they're no longer, you know, going out and drinking and carousing and partying all the time or that they've let go of a third party. Take it as it resonates. I don't usually see the Three of Cups as third party, but it feels like someone's broken away from the crowd, from the party crowd. And uh, it feels like they're about to be really honest with you. The Seven of Swords is in the reverse. It's somebody who was not being honest with you before. The sun is here. They have no choice but to be very clear with you if they are going to come forward. They're going to tell you that they are unsure about their path and what they want to do. I feel with the Ace of Pentacles um, that somebody is going to be honest with you to tell you that they don't know what path they're on. They're not sure if they want to invest, but that possibly they might drop their burdens and allow um, allow conversation let's get to know each other page of swords is let's let's really dig into each other and find out what we want to know about each other someone is going to come to you and tell you that they're unsure as to whether they want to call you a girlfriend or a boyfriend this person wants to get to know you more they want to um, see if you're compatible in terms of you know the way that you speak with each other know each other it feels like somebody's ready to dig in to get to know you but they're not exactly sure about whether 
they want to invest a full pentacle here or not. I think it's legit. I mean, you can't expect people just to jump off the edge and, and into a relationship without really knowing what's going on. I think, Pisces, that if you're the one that's jumping, I think that you're going to... I feel like you're going to uh, not really commit right away, but that you do want to drop burdens with this person. You've been waiting for this, in fact. You've been waiting to unload your burdens here with this person. They're coming back with a lot of truth, and the truth is, I'm not really sure what I want. Like, we can really get to know each other. Let's dig in and get to know each other, but I'm not really sure what I want. Tell me what this person's going to say about their feelings, please, to Pisces. This person is going to tell you they know your worth. They see it. They know you're balanced. You're the beautiful empress or the handsome empress, uh, masculine or feminine, that you are somebody who could make something out of nothing. That's the, that's the magic of the empress, <laughs> being able to dote and love and be balanced and make something out of nothing. And the empress is abundance and everyone around the, the empress is, is in abundance as well uh, because she's very, she shares a lot. She is part of the queen of pentacles who is someone who is very giving and kind, stable. So this person is going to tell you that they understand that there is a connection between the two of you that cannot be broken or cannot be cut away. That's the, the six of cups energy. The, the chariot is in the reverse because I feel like this person's got the brakes on right now. I feel like they're, they haven't come forward, but I feel like they will probably this week. Someone is really going to let you know that um, that they see your worth and the fact that they haven't been with you has nothing to do with your worth. Um, it's that that they're uncertain about whether they want victory and whether they want to really go all in. They're not sure about the ace. They're not sure about the ace. <laughs> and uh, they know that you're a soulmate, but they're not sure if they want victory here. It seems like someone who isn't used to committing. They're sort of a non-committal energy. So I think that what is scaring this person is I think that they know that you want a commitment, but you're not saying it. I really do feel that you're going to let them drive. I want to say that you're ready for conversation with the Queen of Swords. And I feel like you are here with the... Um, with the Hierophant, that you are somebody who who wants the commitment and who has all the tools to be able to be in a relationship like the Empress. You got all the tools. They can see your worth. They know it, but they have to make a decision about what they want to do. And it, I, I don't think it has anything to do with who you are. They see exactly what, what you're offering them. I think that they're just scared because they're the wounded warrior. They've been hurt over and over again. And I don't think this is just in relationships. I think this is in life. I think it goes way back to childhood and trauma that, that they might be carrying. There it is. Here it comes. You're going to get some sort of communication. I feel like there is going to be an upheaval and a change in your pentacle world here that you don't see coming. But somebody here is about to make things clear to you. The communication that's coming in is about to be very honest and somebody wants to have another shot with you. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I will be at your uh, readings this week. And... Um, Please think about sharing uh, your your comments, your communications, and your thumbs up. I do want to keep reading for these water signs. Uh, there are a lot of energy to put out if nobody's watching, and I really, really want to grow this water community. So thank you for doing that with me. I appreciate you. It's in your hands, though. So thank you. I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.